Good morning students. I hope you all are doing very well in these days. So today in this class, we will start with a small activity. So as you can see in my hand, there are two things. This is a safety pin and this is an object, right? So what I'm going to do is just to bring this safety pin closer to this object, all right? So what happens over here? You can see that this safety pin get attracted toward this device. So do you know why this safety pin get attracted toward this device? What is there in this device? Yeah, you are correct. Here is a magnet. As you can see, here is a magnet which is inbuilt in this device, right? So what is this magnet? So now you can guess which chapter we are going to start. Yes, you are right. We are going to start our last chapter that is chapter number 7 electricity and magnetism and particularly we will begin with magnetism. So let's study what is a magnet, alright. Our first topic will be magnet. What is a magnet? So any substance which attracts iron or any magnetic material is known as magnet, alright. Like here you can see, this is a safety pin, it's, it is made up of stainless steel. So it is just attracting the magnet which is inside it, it attracts this pin. So this is what, this is a magnet. So magnetic materials may be iron, cobalt, nickel and so on. Alright. So these are the magnetic material. So any substance which attract these materials, magnetic materials will be known as magnet. So now the property of attracting any magnetic material is known as what? That property is known as magnetism. That property is known as magnetism. Hence our name of the chapter that is magnetism. So magnetism is basically a property. Do remember this? That magnetism is a property of attracting iron or any magnetic materials. Alright. So now let come to know that why a magnet has got its name magnet. Alright. So there is a story behind it. Around 5000 years ago there lived a shepherd whose name was Magnus and he lived in a town named as Magnesia which is now in Turkey but at that time it was situated in Greece. So once Magnus shoe nail and iron hook of his stick were stuck to a rock and later on it was found that that rock was attracted by some iron pieces and hence was named as Magnus. So the word magnet has been derived from the town which was named as Magnesia and the boy name or you can say the shepherd name Magnus. So you need to learn, you need to remember these two names. Magnus which was the name of that boy and the town name Magnesia. Alright. So from these two words, shepherd's name. Okay. So from these two words, the name magnet has been derived. Now, basically there are two types of magnet. One is natural magnet and another is artificial magnet. So now what is natural magnet? The magnet which occur naturally from the earth's surface that is known as natural magnet. For example magnetite, right? Magnetite. Magnetite is the natural magnet. Or this is also known as this magnetite is also known as lodestone. Since it is capable of 
telling the directions. So now, what is artificial magnet? The magnet in which magnetic properties has been imparted artificially is known as artificial magnet. So artificial magnet comes in various shapes and sizes. Alright. For example, bar shaped magnet. Bar shaped magnet. Then horseshoe. Horseshoe shaped magnet. Bar shaped magnet. Its shape will be like this. Horseshoe shaped magnet. Its shape will be like this. U shaped magnet. Magnetic needle and so on. This is U shaped magnet. And so on. So these artificial magnets, why they have brought? They have brought because their magnetic strength is very high. Since the magnetic strength of natural magnets are low, that is why scientists have invented artificial magnets. Alright? So now we will study the characteristic of a magnet or we can say the property of a magnet. So basically there are two properties of a magnet. Alright? The very first property is attractive property. Attractive property. And the second property is directive property. So, 
any magnet when it is suspended freely it will always and always align itself in a fixed direction that is north south direction so this is the directive property of a magnet as you can see here in your book as well see this is a bar magnet it has been freely suspended here with the help of a silk rod so after swinging up eventually it will rest at a fixed position this is the north south position all right this direction is north south direction and the property is what the property is known as directive property of a magnet so that is it for today's now the more topics we will cover in our upcoming classes thank you and have a nice day